Hola, en esta lección vamos a hablar acerca de cómo formar los mandatos en la segunda persona singular. In the following activity, I'm going to need some special help. So, here's my helper. Wow! Qué guapo, ¿no? Oh, you don't know his name, do you? So, I'll ask for your sake. Since I know him and we're pretty good friends, I can use the two form. ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo Guillermo Rojas. ¿Oíste? Se llama Guillermo. Okay, so I'm going to tell Guillermo to act out some things in Spanish, and you need to figure out if he does them correctly or incorrectly based on what he does. And you'll decide if it was correcto o incorrecto. Por ejemplo, Guillermo, corre. ¿Corrió? No. No corrió. Caminó. Incorrecto. Muy bien. So if you noticed Guillermo was not running like I told him, you should have come up with incorrecto. Bueno, te toca. Mira tu mano. ¿La miró? Sí, la miró. Correcto. Juega basketball. ¿Jugó basketball? No jugó basketball. ¿Jugó voleibol? Incorrecto. ¿Baila? ¿Bailó? Sí. Correcto. ¿Llora? ¿Lloró? Sí. Correcto. Aplaude. ¿Aplaudió? No. No aplaudió. Tocó la guitarra. Incorrecto. Come tu brazo. ¿Comió su brazo? No. No lo comió. Bebió. Incorrecto. Escribe. ¿Escribió? Sí, escribió. Correcto. Toca el piano. ¿Tocó el piano? Sí, lo tocó. Correcto. Nada. ¿Nadó? Sí. Correcto. Abre una puerta. ¿Abrió una puerta? Sí, la abrió. Correcto. Duérmete. ¿Se durmió? Sí, se durmió. Correcto. Salta. ¿Saltó? No, no saltó. Miró algo en la distancia. Incorrecto. Golpea tu cara. ¿Golpeó su cara? Sí. Correcto. Uy, parece que le dolió. Levántate. Levántate. ¿Se levantó? No. Incorrecto. Bueno, gracias, Guillermo. Muy bien. Hopefully you did well. I don't know if you were aware of this, but most commands are pretty easy to make in the two form in Spanish. Did you notice how easy they were? Let's take a look at those commands again. So looking at these, how do you think I form the two commands? Yeah, almost all of these are in the el, ella, usted form of the present tense. That's simple. So all that I have to do to say a command in the two form 
is to use the el, ella, usted form in the present tense? Pretty much. There are a few irregulars, though, and we'll see those in the next video. And the negative commands are also different, but we'll go over those later. But wait! If these could mean he or she does something as well as commanding somebody to do something, how do people not get confused in Spanish? Oh, it's all about the context. And notice there are also two exceptions. They're both reflexive verbs. Dormirse is to fall asleep, and levantarse is to get up. So the first part, duerme, is in the he or she form in the present tense, and levanta is also in the he or she form of the present tense. But then we add a te on the end because it's reflexive in the to form. So duermete is telling somebody, go to sleep, and levantate is telling somebody, get yourself up, or get up. Notice that we attach the reflexive pronoun te at the end, and we add an accent mark over the third to last syllable. But, hey, we'll talk more about that in a later video, too. Also, how is this different from the to form in the present tense? Let's look at the verb comer. So we have comes and come. Well, comes with the s on the end is the present tense form of comer. And this is just saying you eat or you are eating. It's describing an action, describing what somebody does or is doing. Come is forcing my will on somebody. It's telling somebody that I want them to do an action. I'm not saying what's happening, but rather what I want to happen. So, now that you have a better idea of how to form two commands using the el, ella, usted form in the present tense, try the following. I'll have a few different commands and some different translations. See if you can figure out which command goes with the translation. Espera, wait, respira, breathe, escucha, listen. Mira, look, watch, cocina, cook, limpia, clean. Recuerda, remember, bebe, drink, empieza, start, begin. Cómpralo, buy it, míralo, look at it, cómelo, eat it. Notice that the low in the end is just it. We can attach that as well, and we'll add an accent mark in the third to last syllable, but again, we'll have a future video on that later. Camina, walk, corre, run, salta, jump. Canta, sing, escribe. Write, duerme, sleep. Abre la puerta. Open the door. Cierra la ventana. Close the window. Limpia el baño. Clean the bathroom. Bañate. Take a bath. Despiértate. Wake up. Acuéstate. Go to bed. And notice again, we can put the T on the end for the reflexive commands. Okay, so how about you translate the following into two commands in Spanish? Pause the video if you need more time and check the word bank if you aren't sure about a word. Take out the trash. Saca la basura. Play with your friends outside. Juega con tus amigos afuera. Call your grandparents. Llama a tus abuelos. Drink this. Bebe esto. Take one, please. Toma uno, por favor. Wash your clothes because they stink. Lava tu ropa porque apesta. Or you could also say huele mal for a pesta, for saying they, the clothes, stink. Buy some sodas for the party. Compra algunos refrescos para la fiesta. When you're sad, smile. Cuando estás triste, sonríe. 
Sign here, please. Firma aquí, por favor. Turn off the TV. Apaga la tele. Work harder. Trabaja más duro. Kiss me. This was a tricky one, but again, besa would be calling somebody kiss. And then we can attach the direct object pronoun, me, to the end of it. So besame would be kiss me. Muy bien. Es todo para esta lección. Make sure to watch the next video on the irregular affirmative to commands. And let me know if you have any questions or comments about this lesson. And feel free to practice your own commands in the comments section below. Gracias por mirar y nos vemos.